So now we have our database table that we imported data to, and you should have gone through and changed the numeric fields so that they are all numeric. That's going to allow us to do some interesting things with queries where we're selecting specific data and rearranging it. We're going to sort of work our way through. I was playing with this, so I got to unhide that. We're going to work our way through this and show you all the options. So sometimes you just want to see a few specific fields. Maybe I just want to know the um, food name. We, maybe we don't want the food group. Maybe we just want the calories, fat, protein, and carbohydrates, and we can ignore the sugars and the fiber. And I could then move this into a printed version. We'll do that in a different lesson. But you can see that it's very easy to hide things. Once you've hidden those, use Nimbus or another screen capture to capture a picture of the screen showing that you have them hidden. You'll create a Google Doc document and you'll label it hiding. And then you'll take a screenshot and put the screenshot into the document. After you've done that, you can choose show all. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to play with filtering. So we can filter this and we can choose whatever different option we have. So we can choose to filter by a food group and we can set it equal to, and we'll say sweets. And again, you can take a picture of that, add a title to your Google Doc for sweets, and take the picture after it, then take the filter off. We can group You can select any field and we're going to group by the food group. And then you can actually subdivide in there and go into the food name. So we'll see, and some of these have multiple where we can expand the record. But we now have it grouped to two levels. Take a screenshot of that and put it in your Google Doc under the label of grouping. And then when you're done with that, you'll remove the grouping as well. Next, you can sort it, and we're going to sort it by the calories. And if we wanted to sort by another field underneath that, we could sort by carbohydrates, and that will give us two levels of sorting. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that and hand it in. Then you can turn off the sorting. And so after you're done with that, you're going to select color. And we're going to color based on specific conditions. So we're going to do color for where calories is greater than 300. And we're going to change the color to something else. Pick any color you want. So that's actually going to signify it in the ID that you have selected anything with calories of greater than 300 becomes green. You'll take a screenshot of that, add it to your Word document or your Google Docs document under the title of color, 
and then you will save the document and hand it in.